Hey guys, what is up? My name is Landon and welcome to the Jersey Zone. Now today I'm going to be telling you guys how to spot the difference between a real legit jersey and a fake jersey. Now like I said in my previous video, just a little bit of background on me. I've been collecting jerseys for over two years now, it's close to three. I've collected over 130 jerseys and I've never collected a fake. I don't collect fakes, I don't like collecting fakes. If you do, that's up to you. No problem, doesn't really matter, it doesn't affect me. That's your money. But I don't like collecting fakes, so I'm here to try and educate people on who don't want to collect fakes on how to find uh, real jerseys and how to determine what a real jersey is and how what it looks like compared to a fake. Now, I would have loved to have a fake jersey on hand only for this video, just so I can kind of show you guys exactly what I mean when I'm kind of explaining how to spot these differences and everything like that. Unfortunately, I do not. So I'm just going to be going on to eBay and I'm going to be looking at a real jersey. I'm going to be looking at a fake jersey and I'm just going to be comparing the two and hopefully that'll be enough to help you guys out. Now, something that's very important in my opinion when doing legit checks is having a second opinion. Even myself, who I'm, like I said, I'm almost three years into collecting jerseys now. Even I still sometimes make sure to get a second opinion on a jersey just to make sure that it is legit because I don't want to buy a fake jersey. So it's very important to have a second opinion. Now, if you don't have a friend who collects jerseys or knows how to tell the difference between a real jersey and a fake jersey, I recommend you go to r slash hockey jerseys on Reddit. I shouted them out in a previous video. Like I said, then they're a great hockey community, super friendly, super nice. They only do legit jerseys. They don't do any fakes on there at all. And they also have a legit check thread where you can go in post your link to whatever jersey you're looking to make sure that it is a real jersey or if it's not and someone from the community will help you out and tell you whether it is real or not. Now after you're done this video and you're looking to kind of try and test your skills, I recommend going to that thread and just clicking all of the links and trying to make sure you don't look at the responses from the people in the community telling them if it is a real jersey or not and just try and determine yourself if it is a real jersey or if it's a fake jersey and once you've decided your answer, look at the comments to see if you were correct or not. That's what I used to do when I first started off. And I think that's kind of just a fun game to test your skills. But anyways, I'm here to try and teach you guys how to tell the difference. So let's get right into it. Also quickly, before I get into this video, I do want to mention that 90% of this video is going to be going over fake Reebok jerseys and Adidas jerseys, mostly because of the fact that those are the ones that I find that are faked the most. There is, I believe, one faked CCM vintage in this video as well that I'll be going over, but I'm not going to have any fake just regular CCM jerseys or coho jerseys just because of the fact that I find those ones aren't faked as much and I couldn't find any when I was kind of searching through to find fake jerseys so I can compare fake ones with real ones. But I do know that there are some fake CCM jerseys. I don't believe I've found any fake coho jerseys before. Not that I remember at least. I haven't found any fake coho jerseys. They might be out there, but I'm not really too sure. One thing that I'm 99.9% .9 sure of is that there's no fake pro player or starter jerseys. Other than that, there are, I believe, fakes of every other kind of jersey. But like I said, this is mostly just going to be Adidas and Reebok because that, at least to what I find when I'm searching for jerseys, those are the jerseys that are mostly faked. Okay, so before we get into it, there are kind of four main things that I look at when I'm trying to determine whether it is a legit jersey or a fake jersey. So I'll say the four things, and then as I kind of go through this video, I'll show you guys exactly what I mean. So the first one is if the logo and the name and the numbers on the back are bubbling. The second one is the fight strap itself. If it's square or just rectangular, if it's rectangular, that means it's a legit. If it's square, it means it's a fake. If the colors on the jersey itself are off. Now this one doesn't always mean it's a fake because it could just be lighting. But if you're seeing it in person and the colors are off, then it's definitely a fake, obviously. And then number four is bad pictures. Now, this one also doesn't mean it's a fake because as you can see here, this jersey here has very bad pictures, but it is actually a legit jersey. Just majority of the time when there are poor pictures, it usually means it's a fake just because the person is trying to make sure that the jersey is as far away as possible, it's in as bad lighting as possible, and that the camera quality is as poor as possible, just so you kind of can't see the jersey and determine if it is a real one or if it's a fake one. But this one here is a legit one, even though there is very poor pictures, but let's get into it and kind of see why it is legit. Okay, so starting off, like I said, not a good picture. The distance is fine, but just everything else is bad. The camera quality is not good. The lighting is really really bad in this picture but just looking at it quickly it doesn't really look like the logo is bubbling here you can kind of see the fight strap the fight strap is on the back of the jersey but you can kind of see it a little bit through the jersey here um the nhl shield it does look slightly uh tilted but i think that's just because of the way the the jersey is sitting 
But let's go on to the next picture because this one isn't very good. So the next picture here kind of tells me it is a legit jersey right away. And I can tell that by just the stitching on this logo here. It's very well done. It's very professionally done. And you can see that there's no bubbling, right? It's everything's kind of flat. There is like a little bump here, but that's just how the jersey looks. That's what it's supposed to be. And it looks very flat and clean. And this is exactly how the logo is supposed to look. And then the last picture here, Again, it's just a really, really bad picture. It's very poor quality, but you can kind of see once again, I think it's just how the jersey is laid down, but the Adidas logo on the back here seems to be straight. If you're looking at it against this line right here, it seems to be pretty straight and in the middle, and this fight strap right here seems to be a rectangular. Uh, but once again, this is a very poor picture. Uh, these are very bad pictures. So if I was just starting out and trying to determine if this was a real jersey or a fake jersey, I definitely would ask this guy for more pictures and more clear pictures. I would ask for a picture of the fight strap itself. And I would also ask for a picture of this neckline right here or the neck tags. But let's go to the fake jersey here. So this is the fake jersey. Uh, I know the last one didn't have any name in the numbers, but as you can tell, look at the fight strap right here. As you can see, I can't really zoom in. I can zoom in a little bit, uh, but the fight strap here is a square. And if you compare that with this one right here, uh, this one is rectangular. And I have a better picture of a fight strap a little bit later. I just wanted to show that one uh, because it did have bad pictures. And I want to tell you guys that just because it has bad pictures, it doesn't always mean it's a fake. But anyways, you can see that on this jersey here, the uh, names and numbers are very bubbly. Uh, you can kind of tell, uh, especially right here, it's a little bit bubbly. If we go to the next one, I don't know how well you guys will be able to see this, but on the patch here, you can kind of see the drop stitching in between these letters right here. There's a little bit of stitching just in between them. That shouldn't happen. If there's any drop stitching anywhere, it's probably a fake. It's most likely a fake. Um, so I don't know how well you guys can see that. But once again, you can kind of see uh, the logo is bubbling a little bit here as well. If we go into the uh, neck tag right here, there's the stitching right through the Adidas logo. That shouldn't be happening there. And everything kind of just looks a little shiny on like the, the shoulders and everything. Like the, the material itself just looks shiny and that shouldn't really be happening. Um, the NHL logo at the bottom, I would hover over it, but I can't because it, the pictures will cover it. But as you can see, it almost looks cracked. It, it, I don't know if those are loose threads or what, but once again, just doesn't look like it's very well done. That is supposed to be shiny, though. Uh, the NHL logo is supposed to be shiny. Uh, and then we go to the last picture, and the last picture just means nothing. Now let's move on to a few others just to show you guys a little bit more. Okay, so this jersey here is an example of really good pictures, and this really helps me out a ton in showing you guys how to tell the differences. So this one right here, it's a great picture from the front. You can see everything clearly. Once again, the logo doesn't look bubbly. It looks pretty flat. Um, everything up here looks fine. It's just a nice good picture, good lighting and everything like that. Uh, we go on to the back here. The names and numbers look flat. They don't look bubbly. I'll show you guys a little bit more about how the bubbling looks in the next fake that I show you guys. And then as you can see here, the fight strap looks rectangular. It is a little bit hard to see that because of the fact that the lighting is being blocked out by this arm. But if we go on to the next picture, it's a picture of the fight strap inside and as you can see it's very clearly a rectangular shape and i'll show you guys when i go to the fake jersey just how different it is on fakes uh, and then we go up to the neck tag here once again as you can see the stitching doesn't go right through this adidas uh logo right here and the fabric here it isn't shiny it's just like an actual fabric itself and then the honor pride and courage thing is almost i don't know if heat pressed in is the correct term um, but it's basically just in the actual material of the jersey and there's no kind of drop stitching or anything like that in these letterings right here. Now on this fake, you can very much tell that it is a fake right away because of the fact that the coloring is way different. It's not how the coloring should be on these jerseys as well as you can kind of see the bubbling of that A and then if we go over to these next photos here, you can look at the back and look at how bubbly these numbers are in comparison to these right here. And then if you look at the fight strap, it's very much a square instead of, uh, once again, a rectangular shape right here. Okay, so here we have another fake. Now this one I specifically wanted to show you guys because of the laces, everything else is pretty bad on this jersey, but specifically the laces, you can see here, look at these laces, they're very long. They're like, they just look like shoelaces. But if you go and look to see what the actual laces look like, this is how the laces should look. They're a lot shorter, 
They're, they don't really look like these laces right here. It's just so much different. So just from the laces, I can already tell this jersey is a fake. Uh, and then if you look a little bit closer, let's go over here. You can see, once again, it looks like a lot of loose threads uh, right in the NHL logo. Uh, this back tag looks really, really shiny. And it looks like the stitching goes through the Adidas logo again. The C right here looks super bubbly. Go to the logo, super bubbly as well. Yeah, as you can see, an even better picture to show just how poor that NHL logo is stitched on and looks. Uh, and then you go to the shoulder patch here and you can just see the drop stitching and look how just bad that looks. Like it just looks really, really bad. Uh, like I said, the stitching on here, like it, it's super, super shiny, which is not how this should look at all. And also it, the stitching on it is very poor, bubbly crest. And this Adidas logo on the back just is not how it looks. It almost looks like it's a different font. And you can see the fight strap here looks just abysmal to what uh, what we saw on that Matthews jersey earlier on. So you can just see how poor this fake looks. And that's an even better picture to show how uh, the bubbling is on the name and numbers right there. And just how poor that Adidas logo looks. And even there's like the drop stitching and everything. So this is a really, really bad fake, as you guys can see. But I mainly wanted to show you guys because of the laces. And that is another thing you do need to look for is the laces. You want to make sure that it does match up with the actual laces of the jersey. Now, another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is stock images on jerseys. Uh, if it's on like a site like eBay or Kijiji or anything like that, if you do have just stock images, it's usually a good thing to go on the side of it's probably fake. Uh, especially if it says it's from China. If you go to the item location right here, and if it says China, it's definitely a fake, 100%. You don't even need to ask. It's definitely a fake. But as you can see here, it says it's from Ontario, Canada. So that makes me think, okay, it might be legit. So one thing that I also like to check on sellers as well, and this doesn't just have to be with stock photo sellers. It can be with just any sellers at all. It's always a good thing to check is to go to their rating. So it's right beside their seller information, right beside their seller name is to click on this number right here, their feedback score. And as you guys can see here, this guy has a very positive feedback rating. He has 10 positive uh, reviews in the past month. 48 positive reviews in the past six months and 120 positive reviews in the past 12 months, zero neutral or negative reviews, which is usually a good indication that this is a legit seller and a good seller. But one thing that I would check with sellers who use stock photos, and like I said, who have good ratings and aren't shipping out of China, if it's all three of those things, I would still message them and ask for pictures. It's always good. It's never a bad thing to just ask for pictures, just to double check and just to make sure. Okay, so next, there's only one thing that I wanted to show you guys on this jersey here is as you can see, there is the Adidas logo coming through the back of the neck here. Now, 99% of the time, that means it's a fake. But for some reason, I don't know why this is a thing, but I only found it to be a thing on the 2016 World Cup of Hockey jerseys. Uh, the ones that have like Team Canada and Team North America, Team Europe, all of those jerseys tend to have the Adidas logo uh, sticking through the neck or the back of the neck at least. I don't know why that's a thing. Now, that doesn't mean that all of these jerseys are legit. Uh, so you do need to double check just with the other methods that I did uh, before. Like I said, if there's any like bubbling of the names and numbers and stuff like that. But for some reason, the Adidas logo does stick through the neck on these jerseys. But 99% of the time, like I said, if that does happen, it's a fake. For example, this jersey here is a very big fake, as you can see, uh, just from the coloring and everything itself and the bubbling of the uh, logos and the names and numbers. It's a pretty bad fake. Um, like it, you can see that just looks really, really bad and poor drop stitching and everything right there and the poor drop stitching right here. And this looks awful uh, right here as well. But as you can see, the Adidas logo is coming through the back sort of in a way like this one here but this one here you can see it's a lot cleaner it looks a lot better than this right here uh, this doesn't look very clean it looks kind of poorly done um but yeah so i just wanted to point that out if it is and as you can see from the back here it looks really really bad on the back actually uh, like the shoulders look sh super super shiny and everything like that and uh the fight strap is just really really poor but anyways i just wanted to point out to you guys that like I said, majority of the time, if it's on a NHL jersey, if the Adidas logo is sticking through the neck on an NHL jersey, that means it's a fake. If it's on these 2016 World Cup of Hockey jerseys, that doesn't necessarily mean it's legit, 
but it doesn't mean it is a fake. It isn't an indication that it is a fake. Okay, so now that we're into Reebok jerseys, we have a real one here, and this one is an absolutely beautiful jersey. I actually love this jersey so, so much. So this one here is a Reebok Edge. I believe it's a 2.0 from what it looks like. Um, this one is a very, very nice jersey. As you can see, there is the stitching here on the arm. That's just the reinforced elbow pads. Uh, they have those on these uh, authentic uh, Reebok jerseys on the Reebok premieres or just the Reebok replica jerseys, the ones that have the tags in the bottom right here, uh, they don't have those, but the ones that have the fight strap and are the authentic ones. And I just want to clarify when I say replica and authentic, those do mean that they are both legit jerseys. There's just replica versions of the on ice jerseys. And then there's the authentic jerseys, which are basically just higher quality authentic jerseys. So I just want to clarify when I do say replica, I don't mean a fake. I do mean a legit jersey as well. But yeah, looking at this jersey, as you can see, there's no like bubbling of the logos or the, uh, the name and numbers or anything like that. The Reebok, if we go over here, you can see it's in a very nice box little here. It's not crooked or anything like that. It looks all good. Uh, the stitching on everything looks very well done. Um, there's no drop stitching between these numbers right here. If it was a fake, it would probably have the drop stitching there. Uh, the Anaheim logo is kind of heat pressed in or or uh, screen printed in. I don't know the correct term there, but as you can tell, it looks very nicely done here. And then you go to the back, you can see the fight strap. It looks like if we go another picture over, the fight strap rectangular looks really, really good. And then we go to the neck tag here, uh, and that's just how the neck tags look on the authentics. It has the number sizing right there. Looks really, really good. But this jersey here, it looks really good, really nicely done. And let's go over to our fake here. And as you can see, our fake looks really, really bad just right from the start. I don't even believe that's the right color that the orange should be. It looks a little bit too burnt. It shouldn't be like that at all. And you can even see kind of right here on this P right here, you can see that there's a little bit of threads loose. It almost looks like the stitching isn't quite well done. And then if you go to the back, you can really see all these threads just sticking out. It looks really, really bad. There's so many loose threads. And if we go just a couple pictures over, you can see once again, this drop stitching, the stitching on this jersey is just looks really, really poor. And then you can also see like the strings right here are kind of covering the NHL shield, but the NHL shield almost looks a little too thin for me uh, right here. It almost looks a little too thin. It's a little hard to tell because of the fact that it is being covered. But if we go over to this jersey right here, there's not really a good picture showing just the NHL logo, but it looks like a little bit fatter. And as you can see here, it looks almost a little bit skinnier. I can't really tell too much because of the fact that the strings are covering it. But that's also an indication of fake jersey is the NHL shield. It looks really, really bad on some jerseys. And then if we go over here, you can see that there's once again drop stitching on the Philadelphia 2012 kind of right here. And it looks really, really bad. Okay, so next up, I just want to quickly touch on something here. Usually when you see a jersey that's in a size 48, 99% of the time, it does mean it's a fake. But there was kind of one, I hope I'm using the correct terminology here, but there was one kind of era of the Reebok jerseys where the size 48 was a legit thing and there was legit jerseys in a size 48. Now, I believe the eras were called the Reebok 6100 era and then the Reebok Edge era. I'm pretty sure those are the correct terms. I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on that. But with this jersey here, this is a Reebok 6100. And I'm just going to quickly go through this one because like I said, once again, you can kind of see everything is flat. There's no bubbling or anything like that. And if we go all the way to the end here, the fight strap looks all good. But there's two kind of indicators where you can kind of see that it is the Reebok 6100 and not like a Reebok Edge. And then it's from the neck tag right here. You can see it's just a little bit different than some of the other neck tags that we were looking at. As well as if you go to the back here, it has the NHL logo right down where my mouse is. The NHL logo just on the bottom of the jersey. Usually most Reebok jerseys don't have that there, but I believe if it's from the 6100, like I said, I'm not sure if that's the correct terminology. But if it is from that kind of era, it will have that there. And so that will be an indication of that if it is a size 48, it can mean it's legit. Once again, doesn't always mean it's legit, but it can mean it. But if you just see a jersey like this, for example, you can very much clearly see 
uh, that it's very much a fake. You can even just tell it almost looks like the shape of the jersey just looks really, really poor. And then once again, just a lot of bubbling on the names and the numbers. The Reebok back here looks really, really bad as well. And then just the NHL shield looks really poor right there. And the Canadian flag. Look at the Canadian flag right there and then look at it when you go right here. You can see it's a little bit hard to tell because it's not quite flat there, but there is a big, big difference. This one looks almost too long, where this one is a little bit shorter. Um, that is another indication as well of a fake jersey is if you have the Canadian flag looking really, really bad. Just another indication of a fake jersey. But as you can see, the neck tag is completely different than this one. So this one is a big, big fake right here. I do also want to mention that CCM did have size 48s. So as you can see right here, this is a size 48. And you can kind of see the CCM logo right there. So once again, the CCMs did have size 48. Uh, so this one is a legit jersey right here. Okay, so the last one I quickly want to go over is just a CCM vintage. Once again, it's the exact same stuff that we've been going over. Bubbly names, bubbly numbers, everything like that. The one main thing that I kind of wanted to show you guys on the CCM Vintage brand is that the V here looks, it, it's a light yellow right there. But if we go to a legit jersey, we go to the neck tag, it's a little bit of a darker yellow. So the difference in between the yellows, that's another determining factor. If it's a little bit of a lighter yellow, uh, that is a factor that means that basically it is a fake. And once again, you can see that Canadian flag doesn't quite look right. So that's kind of just another indicator. And if you go through, um, you can see like the fight strap looks really, really bad right there. It's once again, a square, not really a rectangle. But I did just want to quickly go over this one. And once again, you can see the drop stitching right here on the CCM uh, and just a loose thread right there. But I did just want to go over this one quickly because even though it is pretty much the same stuff we've been discussing, I did just want to make sure that I did get a CCM vintage in here. Okay, so yeah, that's going to be it for me. I hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, make sure to leave a like and make sure to subscribe for more Jersey and hockey content. Now, I don't really have any more tips left to kind of give you guys. You know, I gave you guys tips on washing a jersey, where to find jerseys, and how to find the difference between real and fake jerseys. So if you guys have any more suggestions on tips that I can do about jerseys, let me know in the comments down below. And if you guys need any help legit checking your jerseys, you can put them down in the comments down below. I'll look at them. I'll see if I can figure out if they're a real jersey or not. Or you can also just go into the description. I'll have that link to the hockey jersey subreddit, and you can go to that legit check thread yourself and post it in there. But also make sure to follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter, at the Jersey Zone YT on Instagram and at the Jersey Zone on Twitter. Links are in the description down below. But anyways, like I said, that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope it helped you guys out and I'll see you guys next time.